everyone welcome back to the channel and I'm here at uh, a GridServe Ecotricity well, not even Ecotricity anymore GridServe Electric Highway now after the announcement yesterday from um, Toddington at uh, GridServe about all the massive massive improvements and future enhancements and I thought I'd come along to Bulldog Services where the two um, chargers have just been updated and it's brilliant it's exactly what they should have been in the first place those that watched the channel know that i was um quite critical of ecotricity in the last year or so just because they'd let go of support and generally everything uh, in between and i must admit i pulled up there was two two units there's a peugeot charging next to me at the time uh, there's a Chadamo CCS on this one, and there is looks like uh, two CCSs uh, on the other bank. So there's a capability of at least maybe three or four cars here, um, which is far superior than what it was before. Um, I plugged in the CCS into my BMW i3, swipe my card, charging. First time, no problems, no apps, no barcode to read no RFID card or anything like that, it just worked. So this is absolutely fantastic. This is exactly what we want to see across all the um, different uh, motorway services, especially. Um, but I wanted to just touch on a few of the um, the, the, the enhancements or the, um, you know, the service improvements that they mentioned yesterday, which me as a, uh, those that know me and those that have, have followed the channel, I'm now on 42,000 miles on public charging. I don't have home charging, haven't had for three years, and it's never been a problem. Um, what has been a problem, though, is reliability and customer service and improvements to the infrastructure. And generally, like, you can't go on Twitter without another installation being announced. So it's definitely working, it's definitely coming. But one of the big things that has always stuck on has been motorway services. And Ecotricity, for a long time, haven't haven't treated it with the respect that it deserves. Now, let's get on to some of those. Now. So I'm not going to go through all of them. They're um, available in, there was a, a video done and there is um, GridServe's um, motorbike. You can probably hear it through the windows. Um, but some of the things, I've got a, um, I, the high budget of this channel. I've got a, a crappy piece of paper with what I wrote down from the video. Um, but some of the things that I wanted to touch on is obviously it's no longer Ecotricity Electric Highway. It's GridServe Electric Highway, which I think is a smart, smart move. Rebrand, get away from the stigma of what um, Ecotricity was and, and move, move the whole thing forward, which is fantastic. The other thing is, which is already current, common knowledge, but um, GridServe are basically upgrading all of the 150 sites that Ecotricity had. They're at 50 at the moment. They've got another 100 to do, and they have promised to have it done by the end of September, which I just think is phenomenal. The fact that they're replacing that infrastructure that quickly that's reliable is fantastic news, and it's got a, a big thumbs up from me. Um, the other thing that was, um, that was really interesting, though, was... Um, I haven't been to it yet, but the uh, the rugby hub um, just off of the or the first junction on the M6 that's got something like 16 chargers of of this type there. That's not the first and only, that's not the only one they're going to do. They're going to roll these out to 50 sites, and what they said is that some sites won't be that big to begin with. They'll start with a minimum of six. So you can imagine turning up to places like this that's got two at the moment and having another four knowing that you're always going to get a charge it's going to be reliable and it's going to be quick and there's always one going to be available that's just phenomenal news so well done again grid serve um i'm just looking down uh, they're not forgetting about ac ac and chadamo is here to stay for a while it's not going to be immediate these guys have got to have time to actually go through the infrastructure and do it so bear with but they they are definitely got AC and um, Chad and Mo on side, so that's coming. So that's good news for legacy car um, owners as well. And uh, what else have we got? Um, Zap Map um, integration from next week. So the first full week in July, Zap Map integration 
uh, with their new chargers. So as the new ones come online, they'll go to ZapMap and you'll be able to have all the updates um, live on, on ZapMap. Won't be the legacy ones, but I think that's a smart move. Cut clean, get to the new ones and, and move forward. Um, and the, the last thing that I wanted to touch on, which I just thought was, was fantastic, was completely um, auto charging. Um, and what does that mean? So anyone that owns a Tesla will, will know what this means. On a Tesla, you come up to a Tesla charger, you plug in, that's it. That's all you do. It reads the VIN number of your car, charges it to your account, job done. And this is basically what um, GridServe are going to be doing for any manufacturer. It doesn't matter what car manufacturer you have. So what they um, they are saying that you're doing, you go up and what I, like I did today, you log on for the first time, or you, you um, there'll be an app, but you'll go through it for the first time. But then after that first time, you just click a remember me. So it, the network knows your car and your VIN number. So the next time you go to a GridServe charger, you literally plug in, that's all you do. You don't swipe anything. You don't use your app. You don't use cards. That's all you do. That is just phenomenal. It's it's just the future, and that is I'm so happy about that sort of stuff. That that's finally happening for legacy car owners. Um, there's a like I said, there's a bunch of other news um, on this scrappy piece of paper, but I'll let you guys go to the um, the, the grid serve video. I'll link it below, and I'll link uh, grid serve's um, uh, blog as well, so you can read those. But um, I've got to say, hats off to GridServe. With the Braintree site and the other 100 sites across the country, plus taking over the motorway services, plus putting 50 more sites in with big charging hubs and things like that, and local infrastructure through other places. Brilliant news, absolutely fantastic. For someone that hasn't got home charging and probably won't have for some time, this is just, music to my ears i'm even now planning my trip down to torquay using some of the new grid surf chargers as well as mm -hmm. instavolt and some of the others to be able to do that and to hopefully have the confidence to do that and i'll let you know after the video of of, of doing that is is a, a such a breath of fresh air and that's what grid serve are um don't give them too much of a hard time just yet you know they're they're working on it. They're working flat out on this, and they have been even during the pandemic. So you know, bear with them. Things are getting better. If you're thinking about buying an electric car, the infrastructure isn't actually that bad, but this just makes it so much better. You'll be able to soon over the next six to twelve months, better go up and down the country with a reliable infrastructure and network, and it'll be auto charging as well. So. Yeah, I, I just thought I'd uh, jump on a live chat while I'm charging. Um, thank you so much for watching. Check out some of my other videos about um, GridServe and my visit to Braintree. I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.